A big day for the first female patient in the world to receive a total artificial heart implant. WDRB's Valerie Chin was there as she left a Louisville hospital this afternoon. For Michelle Giles, this is an extra special day. She's getting released from the hospital and it's her wedding anniversary. A celebration to go home from the hospital. For Michelle and Tim Giles, it's a 35th wedding anniversary they'll never forget. Michelle is the first female patient in the world to receive an ACE and bioprosthetic total artificial heart. She learned she had end stage heart failure thanks to a health fair screening, then went to U of L Health Jewish Hospital. When she first came in, her health wasn't to where it needed to be. She um, was uh, deconditioned, but seeing her being able to walk um, from the wheelchair to the bed and actually get in her car from where she was when she first came in has been a complete 360. What he explained to us that. Uh... You know, she didn't really have no option. It was something that, you know, really lit me up, you know, give us one more day with her. We can, you know, get one more day with her, we're blessed. Michelle had an eight hour surgery in mid September. The device is intended as a bridge to a transplant. Jewish Hospital is one of only four programs in the nation approved to perform this procedure. And you may notice the device makes a sound. So that is the machine pumping itself. Um, she has actually mentioned that it reminds her of her uh, gerbil that she has. It, she named her machine Carl. The machine is powered by batteries or outlets with a cord connected to her stomach. Michelle says she can't wait to see her loved ones and pets and get something to eat. I'm looking for chili though. <laughs> Pinto beans. I'm a country girl. Yeah. yeah. But I don't know. Whatever I get, might stop by and give me some Chinese. You know, it's my anniversary, so. Michelle will now be recovering at home with family in Adair County. Valerie Chin, WDRB News.